Good morning. This one is our reading class. Okay, we are on week number 25th. And today we're going to develop the unit 12A. This one is one of the last units that we discuss in our reading class because the next week we start, okay, but with grammar classes. Okay, now we're reading. This week we finish this subject. So this one are the last topic that we discuss. Let's see. And in this case, we talk about the mystery on Everest. Okay, you know that Everest is the high mountain around the world. And uh, let's see, you, you know the different climbers, okay, like to go in that place or like to climb this kind of mountains. But not all the climbers, uh, let's see, uh, uh, go, okay, or oh, let me see, or reach the, the summits of the Everest. Let's start with this one, okay, Banish. This one is the name of the global unit. And this is a girl, this is a pilot, okay, Amelia Earhart, and a photographer that was it, uh, took this picture in 1931, okay, six years before her mysterious disappearance. Okay, that means she disappeared, okay, uh, in a flight, and uh, nobody, okay, knows or have news about this, this kind of person so let's see now we pass it before you read okay that's mean the previous knowledge about the reading that we discussed today and what do you know about mount everest okay this one is our important information that we try to discover yeah okay so let's see everest height okay what do you consider is the height of the mount everest in this case is 8,850 meters, okay, that's mean 29,000, feet, okay, each year it rises by another, okay, 4 millimeter, okay, imagine so, this one is very high, but every year, okay, it rises uh, 4 millimeters, then we have the second fact. This one is that the first people to reach the summit of Everest, Tenzit Norgate, a Sherpa from, in this case, is from Nepal, and Edmund Hillary from New Zealand in 1953. Okay, this was an historical year because these uh, two people, okay, reached the summit of Everest. Or we consider that, or we have this idea. The third fact is that uh, health risk, okay, probably we suffer different risk, health risk in this travel because of the extreme cold and also climbers can get frostbite, especially on their fingers and toes, okay. What is the meaning of frostbite? In this case, frostbite is an injury, okay, uh, in your body. And this one is caused by exposure to extreme cold, okay, it affecting your nose, affecting your finger, uh, your toes, okay, your feet, your hands, etc. Okay, this one is the meaning of first bite. Uh, the next fact is the equipment, okay, the most Everest climbers carry, okay, oxygen tanks to help them breathe okay this one is one important tool or one important equipment that the majority of the climbers okay need to carry the oxygen tanks and then we have the number of deaths on everest okay at this year or, or according to this reading more than 200 2000 sorry people okay mostly due to avalanches that the meaning is large amount of snow falling down the mountain, okay, died in that place. That means we discuss five facts, five interesting facts about the Everest, okay. The first one is the Everest height. Then we have the people, the first people, the summit, or to reach the summit of Everest, uh, health risk, the equipment, and the number of deaths, okay. So this one is an important fact that we is interesting to know about that. Then we have the topic, okay, the title of the reading, that is a mystery on Everest, okay, so let's see, you know that the reading is about the, the first climbers, 
okay, that went to this kind of mountain. And also, okay, the evidence that a team, okay, another team discovered, okay, long time ago in this place. This one are other important facts. For example, okay, that the first climber reached summit in May 29th, okay, in 1973. We discussed the year, but not exactly the date. Okay, this one was in May 29th. Okay, the easy part to climb is from Nepal. Okay, that is the southest reach. And also, uh, the location is between the Tibet and the Nepal border. And, okay, the cost to climb, imagine this one, okay, are around $60,000 per person, okay? This one is a big quantity of money, okay? With this money, you can buy a home, yes? Okay, so uh, this one is very costly, okay? Very expensive. And also, okay, the, the death in the Mount Everest, okay, is around less than five deaths per hundred summon attempts. So this one is, uh, let's see, a big quantity for me, okay, and it's, it's, it's a risk, okay. So let's see. Now, this one are uh, the first climbers, okay, in this case, it's Tenzing Nodgori, okay, and Edmund Hillary. This one is a picture that took uh, place in that, uh, in that mountain. Let's see. Now, we discuss the vocabulary that you have in your book. This word is on the first paragraph. Proof. Okay. Proof is uh, to provide evidence that shows that something is true. For example, in this case, okay, this person or this team proved that the information that we find a long time ago, okay, this one is uh, real true. Let's see now. The second word is evidence, okay? You know that evidence are facts, or in some cases, um, physical signs that help to prove something, yeah? For example, when you say, okay, evidence shows that global warming is definitely occurring, okay? That means you prove with some evidence. Then you have significant, that means this one is very important, okay? For example, in the reading, okay, says that, why is this significant, okay? The question is, why is this important, okay? So that means it's very important to know this information, yes? Okay, let's continue. This one is achieve, the next word. The meaning is to succeed in doing or having what you plan or intend, usually after a lot of effort, okay? That means you achieve your goal, you achieve, uh, let me see, an objective, etc. Then you have the path. This one is away from one place to another that people can walk along, okay? Difficult path and poor equipment. In this case, uh, okay, I have an example. A short path through the woods leads to the village, okay? That means it's similar to a way. Let's see, then we have section, okay, in this part. Section is an area, okay, uh, in a town, or in a city, or in a different place. Uh, then we have doubtful, in this case. The meaning is uh, not certain, okay, that means uh, to happen something or something that is not true, okay. For example, in the sentence says, okay, it is doubtful Mallory and Levine will be able to proceed to the top, okay. That means this one is not, is an uncertain thing. Then we have proceed, okay, that means to continue to happen, okay, to continue doing something. Uh, then we have suffer, okay, that is to feel pain in your body or maybe in your mind, okay. For example, if you choose to ignore the rules, you'll have to suffer the consequences, okay. That means you suffer some consequences if you don't follow the rules of your parents, yes. Okay, and then we have, uh, let's see, whatever. This is, uh, let me see, anything or everything, okay, that happened or something that is available, uh, you can use this one as a relative pronoun, okay, as a question pronoun, as an adverb, as a conjunction, etc. Okay, that means we have 10 vocabulary words in this reading. Now we pass to the reading comprehension part, okay. You know that we have seven statements and we try to discover what is the main idea or the main answer. Let's see, uh, first one we discuss the gist, okay, the reading is mainly about two climbers who... Okay, solved a mystery about Everest, or banished on Everest, or recreated Hillary and Norgay's climb, or invented new climbing tools. In this case, the best option is the option B. Okay, that's mean the reading is mainly about two climbers who 
vanish on Everest. Okay, that's mean disappear. Yes. Okay, number two, which statement is true? Okay, Mallory's body shout signs of frostbite. Conrad and Kerr's team found two bodies on Everest. Mallory and Yvonne were near the top of Everest in the morning. Oh, and Kerr's team found some of Mallory items on the mountain. In this case, okay, is the option D. Anchor's team found some of Mallory's item on the mountain. Yeah, okay, this one is the best option. Then we have number three. What is the purpose of the second and third paragraph? Is to give reasons why. Okay, why Mallory may have reached the top. Mallory probably didn't reach the top. Or Mallory brought an oxygen tank. Or the body was not Mallory's. And in this case, the best answer is Mallory may have reached the top. Okay, the purpose of the second team, okay, is, okay, to reach the top. Okay. So let's see, number four, in this case, in line number 15, what does it refer to? Okay, the body, the oxygen tank, the summit, or the picture. Okay, the sentence says, he planned to leave it at the top of Everest if he reached the summit. In this case, we talk about the picture, okay, that's mean the photo of the ha of the of the wife yes okay the picture let's see number five where were mallory and Irvine last seen okay at a camp near the bottom of the mountain at the top of everest just below the first step or just below the second step and in this case is the last option just below the second step okay Number six, this one is part of the vocabulary. If Mallory and Irvine turn back, okay, this one, you have this expression in line B. They stopped and went down, went out, stayed in one place. That's mean turn back, okay? If we check the line number 30, says, Anchor thinks they probably turn back just after the first step that's mean okay they stop and went down yeah okay that's mean they don't continue let's see number seven which statement would conrad anchor probably agree with okay mallory and Yvonne definitely reached the top of everest mallory and Yvonne never got close to the summit mallory and Yvonne got close but didn't reach the top any vine probably reached the top, but not Mallory. Okay, in this case, the best option is the option C. Mallory, any vine got closed, but didn't reach the top. Okay, this one is an information that we consider that is not true, but we don't know. Okay, because only the person that are in that moment or the world in that moment uh, know the, the, the truth. Yes, okay, so let's see. This one is part of the reading comprehension. Now we have the reading skill. This one is arguing for and against a topic. Okay. So, writers sometimes present two sides of an argument. Okay. Giving reasons for and also giving reasons against. Okay. Sometimes they list all the reasons for first, followed by the reason against. Okay. To introduce the reasons, writers may use phrases such as one reason is, in addition, to evaluate a writer's argument, it can be useful to list the reasons for and against in two columns, like in a t-shirt. Okay, so let's see, you have a t-shirt on your book, this one is on page 166, and we complete with the information that we have, um, or the information according to the reading, yes? Okay, so let's see. Uh, we study some connectors, okay, or maybe some linking words to organize your ideas. For example, you have however, all thou, on the one hand, on the other hand, first, second, third, okay, what's more, furthermore, finally, to sum up, in conclusion, okay, all of this one you can use, okay, for expressing your arguments. Maybe if the reasons are for or maybe are against, yes? Okay, so let's see, for and against, complete the chart with words from the reading, okay, that's mean we look in the reading the words, and 
Okay, we complete the chart. Did Mallory and Irvine reach the top of Everest? Okay, we have the reasons for and we have the reasons against. Okay, so let's see. In this case, okay, Anchor's team discovered Mallory's. Okay, you have the answer on page 163. This one is in line number nine. Okay, when it says, on the way to the summit, the team found Mallory's oxygen tank okay that's mean this one is the answer oxygen tank and okay that he and Irvine were near the top close by a member of the team Conrad anchor discovered Mallory's body okay that's mean what is the other thing the second thing that they discover okay in body near first step okay you have the answer in the second paragraph yes okay team didn't find okay that's mean what is the thing that they didn't find exactly a photo yeah okay this one is in line number 13 okay they found items like a knife and matches but no photos okay he planned to Okay, what is the verb? Okay, you have in line number 15. He planned to leave it at the top of Everest. Okay, he planned to leave it at the summit. That means it's a synonym, summit, top. Okay, we complete the reasons for. Now, the reasons against. Okay, climbing Everest, second step is very, okay, so you have the answer. In which part? This one is in line number 22. 22, sorry. Okay, climbing Everest, second step, is very difficult. Okay, in line 22 says, climbing this section of Everest is extremely difficult. Okay, in Mallory, any vine did not have moderate in this case. Okay, you have the answers in line number 23. Okay. Even with motor climbing equipment. Okay, so this one is the answer. And Mallory and Irvai did not have motor equipment. Mallory's body had no, okay, in this case, you have the answers in that part. Okay, in line 25. Yes, frostbite. Okay, not frostbite, Mallory and Irvai word near the summit late in the date okay so let's see it is common for people to suffer from this if they okay what is the answer this one is exactly okay this one is in the in the in the paragraph not frostbite yeah exactly okay when if they camp okay so let's see this one is in the sentence that you said, okay, climbers who reach the summit at this time need to camp, okay, line 26 at the top. Okay, now we complete the reasons again, and we have the answers here, yes, okay, excellent. Now we pass to the completion part, and we complete the information with the correct form of words from the box, okay, one word is extra, okay, you have a sheath, doubtful, Path, prove, significant, and so forth. Okay, let's read the paragraph. Tencent Norgay and Edmund Hillary reached the summit of Everest in 1953. But there have been other, okay, in this case the correct word is significant, exactly, have been other significant first. On May 25, 2001, blind American climber Eric Weichmeyer reached Everest summit. With this, okay, achievement, Weichmeyer, okay, proof it is possible for people who cannot see to climb the world's highest mountain. Yes. Three years later, he climbed Everest again with a group of blind teenagers from Tibet. The path to the top of Lakpa, Lakpa Ri 
one of the Everts summit was difficult because of lack of oxygen. Some teams suffer from extreme headaches. Their amazing journey became a movie called Blind Sight. Okay, if you have the possibility to see the movie, yeah, you can do it. Yes? Okay, that's me. Number one, significant. Number two, achievement. Number three, proof. And number four, path. And number five, suffered. Okay, these one are the answers. Then we have the words in context. Okay, we complete each sentence with the correct answer. Okay, an example of evidence at a crime scene is a dead body or a police officer. In this case, dead body, exactly. Number two, a newspaper has different sections. This means it has different colors or different parts. Okay, different parts, exactly. If you proceed in a direction, you continue in that direction or avoid that direction. In this case, you continue, exactly. If you can buy whatever you want, you can buy anything or you only certain thing. Exactly, anything. If you're doubtful, you're doubtful about something, you are certain about it or you are uncertain about it. In this case, you are or same thing. Exactly. Okay, that's me. Number one is that body. Number two, parts. Number three, continuing that direction. Number four, anything. And number five, uncertain. Okay, so let's see now the word link. Okay, this one is we can add ever, meaning any or every, to certain question words. Okay, who, what, where, and when. To form new words. For example, whenever means at any time. Okay, and we have here a little box, okay, or a little graphic, okay, with a pronoun, a function, and an example. Okay, whoever used to inquire questions about people or objects, okay, who was driving a car, whoever arranged a beautiful decoration, yes, okay, whatever, use, okay, information about people or objects, what's on your mind, whatever he'll he whatever will he do without hurt okay whichever okay as an object pronoun or animals and sometimes people that more specific than what okay which of these ladies is your mother whichever do you prefer between these more expensive shoes okay and then you have whose okay that is related to possession whose sweater is this and whomever okay this interrogative pronoun is rarely seen this day but when it shows up it is used to inquire a question about people okay whomever will you give the wear t-shirt okay so let's see this one are example of that yes of this pronoun thank you for your attention okay see you on friday in the next class okay the last class of reading and remember okay the next week we we'll start with the grammar classes okay so uh, we finished the reading classes or the reading subject this week. That's mean on Friday. Okay, thank you very much for the attention and see you on Friday.